Okay, so do you mostly breathe out of your nose or your mouth? Because apparently, there's a big difference between the two, and I made the wrong decision when I was younger. I chose to be a mouth breather because there was more oxygen that way, you know? Then, I didn't like it, so I chose the mouth. But that was the wrong fucking choice. Nobody warned me that I was going to change my facial structure for the rest of my goddamn life. I would have chose nose breathing! This is the face of a nose breather. Notice the perfection of the jaw and the chin and the alert eyes bullshit. <laughs> This is me! What the fuck? So after the date, I go in for a kiss and she tells me my breath smells like shit. How was I supposed to know? You do know that if you lick the back of your hand, let it dry, and then sniff it, that's what your breath smells like to everybody else? I need to stop eating so much ass. Dude, why are all my towels damp? Because I took a shower and had to dry off? Before you get out of the shower, can you like squeegee yourself off a bit? You want me to do what? Use your hands to wipe off the water so the floor isn't soaked and I can use my damn towel for once. Hey, you know Q-tips just push all the earwax in deeper, right? I mean, yeah, but what else am I supposed to do? Well, you could let me put this straw of hydrogen peroxide in it. Why? Because it'll actually loosen up the earwax and clean out your ear. Now this is the weirdest thing ever! Ah! Oh, dude, I don't even have a cold anymore. My nose is just stuffed. Oh, try putting this in your mouth. An ice cube? Why? Well, the cold on the roof of your mouth is just gonna reduce the inflammation of your nasal canal. Is it working? Mm-hmm. Yeah, thank you. Ugh. These period cramps are trying to kill me. Try drinking this. This is just a glass of warm water. Oh, well just the warm liquid should relax all the cramping muscles. You better hope this works. This is so dumb I can't fall asleep. Try rubbing this pressure point right here. It's supposed to help with insomnia get you to sleep. Illegal names that you can't name your kid. In America, you can't name your baby any royal type name. So no king, queen, majesty, or master. You also can't name it the at symbol. Free country my ass. In Mexico, it's been declared that you can't name your child Facebook, Batman, Hermione, Terminator, Rambo, James Bond, Burger King, or Christmas Day. But the fact that somebody out there tried? In the UK, it's illegal to be named Martian, Monkey, Rogue, and Chowto, which means smelly head. What's a dumb name you want to name your kid that you think you can get away with? Psychology tricks to make somebody instantly like you. Instead of responding right away to somebody when they say something to you, wait a couple seconds. This is gonna make them feel like you're really thinking about what you're trying to say and makes you seem like a better listener. Call people by their name in casual conversation. People love it when other people say their name. It makes them feel important and appreciated. Obviously, don't go overboard with this. You're gonna come off as creepy being like, hi, Bella, how's your day been, Bella? I love your shoes, Bella. Just be cool. Ask people to do small favors for you. Be like, hey, can you pass the salt? Or hey, can I borrow a pen? People are gonna sub consciously think that they already like you because they're doing a favor for you coming home super late shush gotta be quiet attack -o. smooch what the fuck are you doing reheating a taco Quiet? I'm trying my best. Oh my god, move. Microwaves have silent modes. Since, Since when? when? Psychology tricks that work on kids that I know work because I have like 11 siblings. If a toddler falls and you just don't make eye contact with them and act like everything is fine, there's a really good chance that they just won't cry. If you're having a hard time getting your kid to do something or eat something, just be like, ah, it's fine. This is for big kids anyway. They're gonna wanna do it now. Always give your kids the option or the illusion of options by saying like, do you wanna eat your carrots or your broccoli first? Or do you wanna put on your left shoe or your right shoe first? They're gonna forget that no is even an option. Uh, uh, I can't swallow pills. I can't do it. You know, if you take your left hand and then squeeze your thumb in your fist, it'll actually suppress your gag reflex. 
Is this why you have a boyfriend and I don't? And this dude just was trying to pretend that he didn't even know what it was, what a bagel was. Do you have the hiccups? No, I'm doing this for shits and giggles. You know you can get rid of those by sticking your fingers in your ears because it stimulates the vagus nerve and resets your diaphragm. What? I am just not feeling my hair right now. Like, is that dandruff? You know, if you put a little bit of vodka in your shampoo bottle, it'll get rid of dandruff, make your hair stronger, shinier, and grow faster. All I heard was vodka. Advice that could save your life one day, except the scenarios become increasingly more likely to actually happen. If you ever find yourself falling out of a plane without a parachute and you have the crazy idea that you want to try and survive that shit, avoid water and aim for the trees or just very flat, soft land. And as you're falling, spread out your limbs to slow the fall, but right before you hit the ground, bring your feet together and bend your knees because this is about to hurt like a motherfucker. If you're driving and suddenly there's a deer on the road, it is much better to just hit the deer than to swerve off into a ditch. But if it's a moose, swerve that shit into the ditch. A moose is like a brick wall. This one has actually happened to me before, okay? Anytime somebody comes over to your house, after they leave, make sure you check out your door and window locks because people suck and sometimes they're just trying to make it easier for them to break in later. Did you know that people with blue eyes and people with brown eyes actually see differently? If you have blue eyes, you have much less melanin compared to those with brown eyes. Which just means that more light is able to pass through, so you're more sensitive to it. Like, my eyes are blue, and for me personally, I can't even really go outside without wearing a pair of sunglasses because it's just too bright. But this also means that I have better night vision than somebody with brown eyes because all the melanin acts as natural sunglasses. Like, this is what brown eyes see at night versus blue eyes, and then blue eyes, brown eyes during the day. Astro! Excuse me. Hi! You're on somebody? <laughs> Dude, wake up! You're gonna be late! Oh my god, I'm bad. Just hold your breath. Why? Because it'll speed up your heart rate, tricking your body into waking up and being more alert. <sighs> what the fuck? Oh, I just overstimulated one of your body's nerves, which made it think it already sneezed, which stopped your sneeze. Well, maybe I would have enjoyed the sneeze. Do you ever think about that? What are you doing? The back of my throat just itches for some reason. You should try just itching the inside of your ear. It'll cause a throat spasm and get rid of the tickle. You don't have to do all that. Well, thanks. Man, have you tried this new tea? It's so good. But it's hot. It's hot. Burn my tongue. Oh, eat this spoonful of sugar. It's like the magic cure for burns. Oh, no, it's okay. Oh. The scale makes me sad. I need to lose weight. What? Dude, no. Okay, you look amazing. But I do know that if you want to lose a pound of fat, you have to run about three hours. What kind of crazy person wants to run for three hours? Well, if you break it up, it's only 27 minutes a day and you lose a pound a week. Dude, my nose is so stuck. I barely got any sleep last night. Oh, you should keep this bowl of onions next to your bed at night. It'll clear everything up. Won't this just make me like cry? Oh, I get it. Thank you. Psst. What? I have a boner. You have a boner? Yeah, and it won't go away. You, Bella, have a boner. Yes, James, help me get rid of it. I will not be helping you with anything. I mean, if you flex your thighs for like 30 seconds, okay, it'll actually redirect the blood flow and get rid of your little shame totem. Hey, you're vaccinated, right? No, not yet. Why the fuck not? Because I don't really like the feeling of needles, you know? Like, they freak me out. You know, if you cough when you get the shot, you won't feel any pain, right? I hate being on my period. These cramps suck! Didn't you just have a hard on like 20 minutes ago? Do you ruin my life? True, I guess. Okay, but I can help. If you press on this pressure point on your hand right here and rub in little circles, it'll help relieve the cramp pain. James, how does it work? Chemistry, bitch. But if you actually want to know, the plastic bag is made out of a polymer which has really long molecules that the pencil can just slip through without leaking any water. It's very similar to the reason why if you ever get stabbed, you shouldn't pull the thing out that stabbed you because then you're gonna die. Oh, fuck. What am I doing? This is a bad idea. <gasps> oh. 
here's a dark psychology trick to make anybody fall in love with you. This is 100% manipulation. I do not recommend doing this to anybody because it is super toxic and I'm only making a video on it so you can at least be aware if it's happening to you. It's just a three-step hot and cold technique where you first have to build up a pattern of pleasure and validation just making this person feel amazing around you. And then you have to break it. Emotionally and physically, you have to pull away from them because this is going to make them feel insecure, like shit, and most importantly, the need to chase and get that validation back from you that they just got addicted to. And then you just have to turn that on button back on again and start validating them. This is going to make them fall in love with you, but in a very unhealthy attachment style. You know, until they figure out what the fuck you're doing. Good luck! The dark web is a semi-secret part of the internet that engines like Google can't get you to that people use to do things without being seen. Here's how much things cost there. You can buy stolen Netflix accounts for only a dollar. You can get stolen credit card information depending on the limit for about 10 to 65 dollars. You can hire a hitman for as little as 10,000 dollars. And if you don't necessarily want to kill somebody but you just want them to go missing, that's about 60,000 dollars. And yeah, attack dogs are cool and all, but you can get your very own attack gorilla for 400k. Go up to your crush and ask them what their favorite movie is. And no matter what they say, just tell them that you haven't seen it. And if they're like, oh my god, we should watch it sometime, they like you. But if they're like, oh my god, you should totally watch it. No. If you're ever on a date with somebody and the conversation kind of gets boring, just ask them what they would do if money wasn't a part of the equation. This is going to lead to a deeper conversation and a much more meaningful connection with this person you're trying to seduce. If you ever ask for somebody's phone number and they actually give it to you, but for some reason you just feel like it's a fake, read it back to them incorrectly. And if they correct you, it's legit. But if not, they're not into you at all. Here's the cheat code to give a girl the first date that she actually wants. So you have to ask the girl out and she has to agree to it. But once you do that, don't tell her where you're going or tell her how to dress. If she asks, just say it's a surprise. And before you pick her up, make sure you have three dates in mind that are ready to go. Something fun, something romantic, and something in between. And then when you go and actually pick her up, you're gonna have to be dressed nice, but casual enough. Because based on what she's wearing, that's where you guys are gonna go. Like, if you pull up and she's in jeans, t-shirt, and sneakers, you're gonna pick something from the fun category. But if you pull up and she's a little bit more dressed up, in heels, something more revealing, you're gonna pick something from the romance category. And if she shows up in something in between, you're gonna pick something in between. Just make sure you never go to the fucking movies on your first date, unless you're in middle school and that's all your mom will let you do. How much of different foods and drinks would it take for you to consume before it kills you? Well, it would only take about 14 glasses of water before your kidneys were just like, <laughs> Nobody's ever done it before, but about 480 bananas would have enough potassium to just stop your heart. If you eat cherries, you know that sometimes you accidentally eat the pit, but it would only take three pits for you to die from cyanide poisoning. It would only take 24 tablespoons of salt from Mother Nature to be like, yeah, this person has had way too much sodium. If you were somehow able to take 14 shots of whiskey within an hour and not puke, <laughs> don't. How much of different foods and drinks would it take for you to consume before it kills you? Big Macs have so much salt in them that it would only take 27 of these motherfuckers to put your body into a state of dehydration that would kill you. Chocolate's cool, chocolate's great, but 86 full-size chocolate bars would put your body into cardiac failure. About 2,500 Skittles have enough sugar to just stop your heart. If you somehow got down 81 cups of coffee, the caffeine would allow you to use 100% of your brain power. And by that, I mean you would have a seizure. You would have to smoke 1,500 pounds of weed in 15 minutes for you to overdose on the THC. Like, that's impossible! I don't know why people still think this is that dangerous of a drug. If you go into a hotel and tell them that you left your phone charger there, they'll pull out a giant box of chargers and you just get to pick one for free. You can get your letters delivered for free without any postage if you just put where you want it to go on the return address instead of where it's actually supposed to be. Most movie theaters have their bathrooms after or near the ticket check, so if you go and watch a movie when you're leaving, just go take a shit, check out new movie times, and then go to another movie. You can do this a couple times before you get caught. Before you make any big life decisions, just remember the word HALT. Make sure you're not hungry, angry, lonely, or tired before you make that decision. You'll thank me later. If you ever have to use a public restroom, always use the stall that's closest to the door because people have a tendency to try and do their business as far away from the entrance as possible, so that one is going to be the cleanest. 
Walking three miles will always burn more calories than running one mile, and it's easier to listen to an audiobook, music, or a podcast while walking. You guys know that you can flip things in a pan by just flipping the pan? We've been using a can opener wrong this whole time. It doesn't go sideways. It, it's supposed to go flat like this, and then you twist it along this way. Okay, so I just did the whole thing the flat way, and look, the can opens the correct way without having to dig your fingers around in there. If you want to quickly stop a pot of water from boiling over, just put a wooden spoon on top of it. This works because the wood is hydrophobic, which means that it can't absorb the water, and instead it just punctures the surface tension of the bubbles. If you have a pimple, one thing you can do is put a little bit of honey on it, cover it with a band-aid overnight, and by the time you wake up, it'll be gone and it won't leave a scar. If after you run the dishwasher, your dishes still come out wet, one thing you can do is right when it's done, take a dry towel, hang it over the edge, and then just gently close it. In about 30 minutes, they'll all be dry. So if you ever get a bruise that you kind of just want to go away, one thing that you can do is apply pressure to it and then rub in a clockwise motion. This will activate and speed up the lymphatic process and your body will just naturally get rid of it. If you're taking math, you're gonna love this website, okay? I used it all the way from high school through college, and now I have a math degree. So it's called Quick Math, and there's a lot of websites like this, but this one is the best I've found so far, and it's free. Just type in any equation that you're struggling with, and it'll give you the answer with the steps. It also does low and high level math. It'll even graph things out for you. Math kinda sucks, so good luck. I thought that everybody enjoyed taking hot showers, but it turns out some people take cold showers and just out of curiosity, I'm gonna try it. This is a nightmare, but it has its benefits, okay? So cold showers stimulate your immune system and antidepressant hormones. It also accelerates your metabolism, tightens your skin, and reduces hair loss. I'm done. I genuinely prefer to be boiled alive. Okay guys, I have a psychology test for you that's gonna unlock a whole lot about your subconscious self that you don't even know about yet, okay? So when you answer, just go with your gut, don't overthink it, okay? Okay. Imagine you're walking through the woods with somebody else. Who's that person? Whoever you picked is the most important person in your life right now. As you guys are walking through the woods, you hear rustling coming from a bush and an animal pops out. What kind of animal is it and what do you do? The size of the animal is the size of your stress and what you did is how you usually react to that stress. You guys keep walking and you stumble upon a house. How big is the house? And do you see a fence? If you saw a fence, you're a closed-minded person. If there was no fence, you're an open-minded person. And the size of the house is the size of your ambition. You guys decide to go inside the house and you find a cup and a table. The durability of this cup is how strong you feel the relationship is with this person you're walking through the woods with. And the more stuff that you saw on the table is the happier you are. Okay, so you leave the house and you find a body of water. How big is it and how do you get across? The size of the water is the size of your sexual desire, and let's say you swam across it, you are much more likely to do something about your horny ass self than somebody who decided to walk around it. Hopefully you learned something about yourself today. If you ever want to get into a sold out concert for free, just go to the store, buy two bags of ice, walk up to the front of the line with some confidence and say, I'm the ice guy. Bam! Into the concert for free, minus the price of ice. If someone's trying to fight you, sneeze on your knuckles before the fight, that way you can inflict poison damage. The easiest way to fake your own death is to just say you're gonna go climb Mount Everest, because when you disappear, it's not like anybody's gonna go look for your body, and even if they do, it's not like they're gonna find it. If you're trying to buy a car, you should buy a used one, but if you're the type that wants to buy a brand new one off the lot, you should wait until the end of the month to do so, because the dealership's gonna be a lot more accepting of your bold negotiations because they're just trying to hit a target volume for the month. You guys know that you don't actually have to give your employer a two weeks notice before you leave? The only reason this is expected is because the company wants to have time to replace you, but if they were to fire you, they wouldn't give you two weeks to go find another job. It's unfortunate that our healthcare system works this way, but if you ever have to go to the hospital when they send you the bill, ask them to itemize it, essentially just listing out what all the little charges are, because you can argue that and save thousands of dollars. Here's a subtle psychology trick to see what your friends actually think about you, but be careful because this might ruin some friendships. Text the person that you want to try this out on, friends, friends, friends. For whatever reason, when somebody sees a word three times, it leaves an impression in their mind. Then, after they see those texts, ask them to pick a number between 1 and 10. They're subconsciously going to pick a number that they associate with you, with 1 being the worst and 10 being the best. And then, after, make sure that you send them this video, that way they can at least see how you just expose the fuck out of them. 
Here's a psychology trick to see what your friends subconsciously think about you. Just text them and ask if I were a color, what color would I be? But be careful because this might ruin some friendships. If they said yellow, they think you're a loyal person that's kind of bubbly. If they said red, they kind of think you're manipulative. If they said blue, they think you're a spontaneous person and they really value your friendship. If they said pink, this indicates that they think you have a good personality, but that you're really not that smart. If they said purple, this person feels that they can rely on you and that they can go to you if they need advice. If this person said black, that means that they feel like they have a closer connection with you than they do with most people. If they said green, that means that they think you're careless and carefree, but not necessarily in a bad way. And if they see you as white, this means they think you're unreliable and kind of boring. It sucks. Make sure you send this to them afterwards so at least they know how you expose them. Did you guys know that it is impossible to touch the palm of your hand to your shoulder? You can't think of a new color, no matter how hard you try. Any color you think of already exists. Unless you're completely illiterate, you physically cannot look at a word without reading it. Three times that actors weren't acting. In the movie Elf, Will Ferrell's character Buddy has to test out some jack-in-the-boxes that he's absolutely terrified of because of the jump scare. And this reaction is genuine because the director was sitting off camera with a remote just having them randomly pop out to scare him. In the movie Jaws, they decided not to tell the actress who's the first person to get attacked that there was going to be a machine in the water that was going to actually attack her and pull her under. So her screams of just pure terror are as real as they can be. In Now You See Me, there's a magic trick where Isla Fisher has to get chained and put in an underwater tank. And in the scene, she struggles a bit, she can't get out, and appears to be drowning. This is real. Isla Fisher says that the chains got stuck at the bottom and she was actually drowning and nobody had any idea until a stuntman thought it was going on a little too long and saved her life. I don't know if you guys have picked up on it yet, but I, uh, I, I really like space. So here are some cool space things that I found because, you know, space is cool as fuck. So this is a composite photo of the moon, and that reddish color is actually the moon's iron rusting. But scientists don't really know how the moon even has rust because the moon doesn't have water or oxygen. This is a photo of a massive eruption on the sun, and that little loop right there, that thing can fit two whole Earths inside of it. Last year, SpaceX's Falcon 9 launch caused a twilight phenomenon, and this happens when the exhaust particles from a missile or rocket condense, freeze, and then expand in the upper atmosphere. You know when you reheat food in the microwave and some parts of it are hot enough to burn your mouth and the other part of it is frozen? Well, that happens because you shouldn't actually have your food in the middle of the plate here. It should be on the edge so it can actually rotate around and cook evenly. If you want to save some time and cook two things at once, just add a mug in here for some height distribution. If you're going to reheat something like pasta or pizza or something, add a small cup of water in there to keep it moisturized but to stop it from getting too chewy. You know, washing your jeans all the time isn't really the best for them, it can actually do more damage. So instead, you should try freezing them every once in a while. So all you gotta do is take your jeans, roll them out, brush them out, whatever, and then put them in the freezer for just a couple hours. The cold will kill any of the bacteria that makes them smell, and you'll have jeans that last way longer. When you're using a cutting board and it's time to transfer the food into a different bowl, going like this is fine, but sometimes you spill. So instead, put it through this little hole. It's way more precise. If you're ever moving, an easier way to pack up all your clothes that are on hangers is by using a few trash bags. All you gotta do is wrap the bag around the clothes, wrap the tie around the hangers, and then you'll pack up your whole closet in just a couple minutes. Most sea monster stories were actually just whales waiting to mate and flopping their dicks out of the water. Like, just try to look at this whale dick and tell me it doesn't look like the fucking Loch Ness Monster. Rhinos only have 5% body fat and it's all stored at the bottom of their hooves, which makes them effectively silent at a full sprint. And I have a new nightmare. If a rabbit gets stressed out enough, it'll just eat their own children. So if you have a mom out there that didn't try to kill you, be thankful for that. Flamingos can drink boiling water. I mean, okay, technically everybody can drink boiling water at least once, but flamingos can do it consistently. Sometimes in hot weather, nectar can ferment, and when bees consume that, they effectively get drunk, and drunk bees are not allowed back in the hive. Female dolphins produce this special secretion that causes intense orgasms that works on humans, except for the fact that it also stops our heart and kills us. I wonder who figured that out. Take the index finger on your dominant hand and write a Q on your forehead. I'll give you a second to do so, okay? 
Nice. Now, some people drew the cue so that if somebody was standing in front of them, they would be able to read it correctly. And if you did this, you're really aware about how other people see you, and you're probably a really good liar. But some other people drew the cue so that it's facing themselves. If you did this, that means that you're more of an introvert, and I would put money down that you're a really bad liar. You can ask somebody to do this, and in about five seconds, you'll get a quick insight on the kind of person they are. So I think everybody knows that the majority of the world is right-handed, about 90%. But did you know only 66% of the world is right-eyed? Like your brain actually has a preference for which eye takes the most information. And you can figure out which one you are by sticking your arms out and making a triangle and then focusing an object in the distance in the center of this triangle. Then you're gonna close each eye. And whichever eye keeps that object in the center of this triangle is the dominant eye. And whichever eye moves it is the weaker one. Things you should avoid doing abroad if you don't want to look like a tourist. When you're in Australia, don't compare Sydney to Melbourne. Don't make any crocodile Dundee or shrimp on the Barbie jokes. And make sure that you always thank your bus driver before getting off. If you're ever in the Philippines, you shouldn't bring up religion, you shouldn't address anybody older than you by their first name, and you shouldn't arrive on time to casual gatherings because everything's gonna start about 15 minutes to an hour later. Whenever you're in Japan, don't go indoors with shoes on, don't point at things, and never leave a tip. Whenever you're in the UK, don't cut in line, don't refuse a cup of tea, and don't make eye contact. If you're ever going to America, just remember that we like our personal space, we don't like when conversations get quiet, and make sure that you tip your wait staff because servers do not get paid enough. Let me know what other countries I should talk about. Here's how to have the best sleep of your entire life. Make sure your room is dark, turn off any electronics, and set your thermostat between 60 and 70 degrees. And then just try the 3 two, one technique. No more food three hours before you sleep. No more work two hours before you sleep. No more screen time one hour before you sleep. And then once you're in bed, you can use this military technique to fall asleep in just two minutes. You have to take slow, deep breaths and relax all your muscles from your face to your toes. And then once you're fully relaxed, just repeat a word or a phrase like sleep or don't think. And if you've been laying here for quite a minute now and you can't fall asleep, you want to find this pressure point behind your ear that's going to be a little sore. You want to rub that about 200 times. You're going to fall asleep so fast. And if you really want to have an amazing sleep, lose the pajamas and sleep naked. Dude, I'm so nauseous. Everything's spinning and I feel like I have to be- Dude, just suck on this. What is this? It's just peppermint, okay? It's supposed to help with the nausea. Also, if you try tilting head to the side, that could help too. Okay, cool. I hurt my back. Ugh. You probably shouldn't be laying down for too long. What do you mean? I can barely move. Yeah, but the only way your back is gonna recover is if you stay moving. It's literally a use it or you lose it kind of thing. Dude! Get up, it's like 4 p.m. What are you doing? I'm sleeping, dude. My sleep schedule's been all out of whack. You know, you can actually trick your body into resetting your sleep cycle. All you have to do is fast for like 12 to 16 hours. What do you mean? How is not eating gonna fix my sleep schedule? Your body's circadian rhythm is regulated through light, but also through food. So if you go through with the fast, you should be able to wake up and go to bed at regular times again. Ladybugs have the highest rate of STDs out of any other bug. So the next time you have a cute little ladybug on your finger, just remember that he's probably a slut. Bees can perceive time. I can barely perceive time. Snails can feel their shells. So the next time you accidentally step on one, now you know that it felt that shit. Hey, how much longer until we're like at the airport? Probably another like 40 minutes. Oh, cool, okay, man. Thank God for Henry Ford inventing the car, right? Or else we'd still be riding horses everywhere. Henry Ford didn't invent the car. A German engineer named Carl's Benz did. Like, Mercedes Benz? What? Why? Why would schools teach us that then? Yeah, Henry Ford just invented the assembly line in the 40 hour work week. Well, then at least the Wright brothers invented the airplane, or else we'd be driving for hours. You know there was an Indian man named Shivar Babuji Talbot that invented a working plane nine years before the Wright brothers did? What? Yeah. You at least know about Thanksgiving, right? Yeah, the day that the Indians and the pilgrims came and ate peacefully together. What do you mean? The pilgrims killed like 700 Native Americans before they ate. The feast was a celebration of their win. 
Dogs have changed a lot in the past hundred years. Just look at the wiener dog, okay? Their legs have gotten shorter and they've gotten way longer. Or even a hound dog, okay? They've gotten much smaller, but their ears have gotten so much bigger. I don't even know what happened to the poodle. And just look what we did to the poor pugs, man, okay? Their eyes have gotten bigger and their faces have gotten flatter, which means they have a lot more health problems than they did 100 years ago. But I have a great game. About 100 years ago, they could get up to about 120 pounds. Today, they get up to about 175. Let me know if you guys want a part two. Are you feeling depressed? Try drinking coffee so you can feel anxiety instead. Oh no. Are you locked out of your house? Try talking calmly to the door, because communication is key. Every time someone makes you upset, delete a letter from their contact name. When their name is gone, they are gone. Hangman bit. If you ever get stopped by the police, just remember that do you know why I pulled you over is really just them saying, are you willing to incriminate yourself for my benefit? Okay, so no matter what the car salesman tells you, every car that's been built after 2018 is required to have a backup camera. This is not a luxury feature or an added perk, so make sure they don't make you pay extra for it. If you ever see a U-Haul truck just drive it around, you should assume that that driver has no experience driving a large vehicle, okay? The first time I drove a U-Haul, I hit a Range Rover in my blind spot. So just make sure you give them some more space. If you're tired of bad drivers and people just speeding around your neighborhood, one thing you can do is print out a picture of a random kid online and place it next to flowers. People should start going the speed limit after that. You should save the business cards of people that you don't like. That way, if you ever accidentally hit a car, you can just write sorry on the back of it and leave it on the windshield. Let's say you meet somebody on a dating app and you have a really good first date. One thing you can do is go to their profile and report it until they get banned. You just decreased their dating options and increased your chance of getting a second date. The phrase yee-haw didn't actually come from cowboys. It came from the Chinese railroad workers of the 1800s and is the anglization of ni hao. You can't see shadows in a mirror because mirrors reflect light and shadows are the absence of light. Technically, the coconut is a mammal because it grows hair and produces milk. Hey man, can I talk to you really quick? Yeah, what's up? These, these facts that you're doing, they're fake. Yeah. You can't just do fake facts on people. Why not? Because you're the fun fact person on TikTok and people expect you to be educational and tell the truth. Okay, but yeah, but these are funny and obviously fake. They're not obviously fake, okay? Somebody might think they're real. You tell them with such confidence. It is not my fault if somebody thinks a coconut is a mammal, okay? It is though because you explained it really well and I'm confused. I don't even know what's real anymore. You should get a bumper sticker on the back of your car that says honk if you think I'm sexy and then just sit at green lights until you feel better about yourself. Jeffrey Dahmer once said that he ate somebody with a tattoo once and the ink just made the meat taste like shit. So you should get some tattoos to avoid cannibals. A kidney goes for about $260,000 and a person can live a healthy life with just one kidney. Poverty's a choice. I cannot believe that I have to make this video right now. But because I'm getting hundreds of comments and tags in like the same three videos from ignorant people saying they're gonna unfollow me because I'm a Satanist? Here we are! This shirt that I'm wearing right now, which is just that by the way, a shirt that I bought at a festival because I was running out of clothes. The figure on it is not the devil! I'm sure if the only religion you've decided to pay attention to is Christianity, you might think that. But it's not! I also just want to point out the fact that I get made fun of for getting famous for using Google because it's so easy, but if anybody did like the smallest amount of research here, we wouldn't be here right now. This is the Celtic deity Kernanos, also known as the Horn God because he's usually depicted with horns or a goat head. And he's not evil either. He literally just represents nature, wisdom, and fertility. But Jesus, there's only one God. Yeah! To you, I don't believe in this myth personally, but you have to at least acknowledge that there are hundreds of gods that people believe in just as much as you believe in yours. But what about the satanic symbols? Oh, uh, you mean the stars? You do know that a pentagram is only satanic if the star is upside down, which this is not? This literally represents earth, fire, wind, water, and spirit. That's it. So everybody calling the person that doesn't believe in Satan a Satanist right now and saying that they're going to unfollow me because of it look pretty fucking stupid, huh? 
And even if I was, I personally respect your right to believe in whatever sky daddy that you choose. But you should at least have the decency to respect everybody else's right to do the same thing. And just for fun, here are the 11 rules that Satanists follow if anybody was curious what they actually believe in. Doesn't seem too bad. Anyway, thank you for watching to the end and make sure that you do your research before making up lies about people. <sighs> what the fuck is wrong with the UK? In the United States, we call this exactly what it is. An eraser, because it erases the pencil off of the page. But in the UK, they call it a rubber. This is not a rubber. This is a rubber, and you're not racing anything with this besides fucking maybe kids. Oh shit. Oh no! The rubber! It's broken! 50% of people can stick their whole fist in their mouth. Even less can get it out, but still! Only 33% of people know how to whistle. How are you gonna be a grown ass person and can't go? 40% of people aren't ticklish at all, and 7% of people know how to tickle themselves. About 65% of people can roll their tongues like, but only 14% of people know how to do the clover tongue, which is, is that why I'm a lesbian? About 10% of people have what's called a Morton's toe, where your big toe is actually smaller than the toe next to it. I am one of those people, but I will not be giving proof because some people are weirdos. One I'm gonna show you guys how to make an instant slushy without using the machine. You're just gonna take a soda bottle and then shake it up. Then you're gonna take that bottle and just put it in the freezer for about three to four hours. You'll also get a better slushy consistency if you put a bowl in the freezer to chill and use for later. And when you take it out of the freezer, it still should be mostly liquid. All we have to do is trigger it by releasing the pressure, closing it, flipping upside down, and then the crystals are gonna form and make the slushy. All right, after giving it a couple minutes, you can see we got a slushy consistency. Try it yourself. You can read people's minds by just reading their eyes. So when we remember something, we look to the left. But if we're constructing something, we look to the right. So if you're remembering a visual memory, you're going to look to the left and up. If it's an auditory memory, it's just going to be to the left middle. And if you're thinking about internal dialogue, like talking to yourself, it's going to be to the left and down. And same thing with the right side. If you're constructing a visual, it's going to be the right up auditory construction. It's going to be to the right middle. And if you're focusing on a feeling, it's going to be to the right and down. You can literally catch people lying to your face with this, okay? So like you can ask your boyfriend where he was last night and if you see that he's looking to the right, he's not remembering shit. He's constructing a story to tell you. Psychology tricks that I know work because I use them. Are you a broke college kid in need of some entertainment? Because if so, today is your lucky day and this video is for you. Hulu is now offering a student discount for only $1.99 a month. Wait, 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 $1.99 a month? Yes, if you're a college kid, sorry high school students, you can get Hulu's ad-supported plan for only $1.99 a month. This is crazy because now you get to watch everything that Hulu has to offer, which includes their originals like Pen15, The Handmaid's Tale, and The D'Amelio Show. And don't act like you're not curious to see what that's about. And the link to Hulu's student discount is in my bio, and signing up is super simple. So make sure you check that out so you can enjoy some Hulu. If you were gonna sell all the organs in your body, you would be worth $45 million. <sighs> your belly button is just your old mouth. Like, we used to have it so good, we didn't have to chew. So we're supposed to cover our mouths when we sneeze or cough, but why don't we cover our ass when we fart? So I went to McDonald's the other day and I was eating this kid's meal and... His parents were pissed, but he was already kind of upset before that. Something about like COVID and the playpens or whatever, I'm not even sure. But I watched him throw his fries on the floor and then his mom spanked him. Being the opportunist I am, I also threw my fries on the floor. Anyway, I heard McDonald's was trying to get into the high-end steakhouse restaurant business and I think that's a big mistake. You're probably gonna wanna get some more sleep after this. So you can only go about one to two months without eating any food before you die. But without sleep, you can only go 10 days, which is terrifying because the longest I've ever gone was like five days. I was halfway to death. Just going 24 hours without sleeping will take you four days to catch up because it's not good for your body. And after 72 hours, you can 
and will experience psychosis and hallucinations and just terrifying shit. And if you're not exactly sure if you are sleep deprived, one of the best ways to tell is seeing how long it takes you to fall asleep, okay? An average person takes about 10 to 20 minutes, but if it takes you less than five minutes, you're on the verge of trouble. And if you guys want, I can make a life hack video on how to have the best sleep of your life. So let me know by blowing this video up. I mean this in the nicest way possible, okay? Nobody notices you as much as you think. Everybody's in their own little world, so try not to care as much. But that being said, if you do something embarrassing in public, just say you lost a bet. My golden rule for spending money is if I can't afford to buy it twice, then I can't afford it at all. If you wanna work on being more confident, make a conscious effort to talk to three people every single day. Even if it's as simple as like, oh, hey, I like your shoes or asking if they did the homework. You'll notice over time, you're a lot more comfortable just talking to new people. You know when you go somewhere kind of sketchy and you don't wanna bring your whole wallet with you? Well, one thing you can do instead is do a secret stash of cash instead of an empty chapstick tube. Cashiers might assume stuff about you though. If you run your bacon under cold water before cooking it, you'll reduce the shrinkage by up to 50%. If you wanna try and kill a fly with your bare hands, you can't just swipe down at it because the fly is like 100 times faster than you. So instead, what you have to do is make sure you clap just above the fly. Your kill rate will go from zero to like 80%. Got one, got two. Look at me, I got three. If you swept your floors and you have a pile of dirt now, but you don't have a dustpan to get it up, what you can do is take a paper towel with the end of it wet, lay it down, and it works just the same. One of the best ways to separate the egg yolk from an egg white is by taking a water bottle, squeezing it, and just using the power of suction. So you come out of the shower and you want to put a towel around your waist, okay? This way that every guy does it looks sexy, but it's not sturdy at all. So what you gotta do is take the towel, wrap it around, and then fold it down twice. That way it creates this sort of belt thing. Like this isn't going anywhere. You know, unless you wanted it to. If you have a jar or container that you really just can't seem to open, run it under hot water for a few seconds. And then once you dry it, it should just open right up. I've never not had this work. If you're constantly making a routine, but then just dropping it the next day because you're too tired to follow through, try making three different routines, okay? One for a low energy day, a mid energy day, and a high energy day. It's a lot easier to stick to it. So in LA, they're telling us to wear masks again. And one thing that always annoyed me was how my sunglasses would fog up when I wear both. So one thing I learned to get rid of that is by adding a little bit of dish soap to the glasses, rubbing it in, and then not washing it off with water, just wiping them off. The fog shouldn't exist after that. You should get a sticker with a fake pin number and put it on your debit card. That way if it ever gets lost or stolen and someone tries to use it more than three times at the ATM, it'll eat the card and shred it. You can predict the height of a child with like 95% accuracy by just doubling the height that they were at at the age of two. Which means I was over three feet as a toddler. If you ever drop something like an earring or a screw, just turn off all the lights and use the flashlight on your phone. The thing that you lost is gonna light up right away. Do you wanna bring your phone in the shower but you're afraid of getting it wet? Take a Ziploc bag, cut part of it off, and then tape it to the wall. Bam, you got YouTube, you got Netflix, you got FaceTime. You can't really fight this addiction, you just have to feed it. By far the best way to clean out your nasty ass microwave is by putting a little bit of lemon water in there for about two minutes, okay? This is gonna make it smell real nice and then soften up all that gunk in there. That way all you have to do is wipe it down. If you're ever making mac and cheese and you realize that you don't have any milk left because your dad never came back, what you can do instead is substitute this one-to-one -one with pasta water and it's gonna taste exactly the same. What's the most pain a human can experience? Coming in at number six is the torn Achilles heel. It's the strongest and longest tendon in your body, so if this tears, you're in for a rough ride. Number five is a tooth abscess. Swelling, infections, a root canal, and excruciating pain is all you have to look forward to with this one. Number four is childbirth. It's been described as being stabbed in the stomach, having your hips pulled apart, and your organs ripped out. Fun. Number three is tetanus. If you've ever been scratched by something rusty, you have to go get a tetanus shot. And everybody knows that tetanus shots hurt, but not as bad as actual tetanus, where all of your joints just lock up. In the number two spot, we have testicular torsion and ovarian torsion, where your baby making parts get all twisted up and it can only be fixed with surgery. And at number one, we have second degree burns. Yes, third degree burns are usually more serious and life threatening, but because it has burnt off all your nerve endings, you won't actually feel anything past 20 seconds. So we've all seen The Lion King and remember the scene where Scar kills Mufasa. And that Simba finds Mufasa dead and is told to run away. 
but then we never see what happens to Mufasa's body. You might just assume that the hyenas ate it, but in real life, hyenas don't eat lions. The only thing that eat lions is other lions. And then we fast forward to Scar playing around in some bones and hold up a skull that looks a whole lot like a lion skull. Scar ate Mufasa. In the movie Ratatouille, we get Anton Ego's flashback scene to his childhood eating his mother's food. And we get to see a lot of his house and even get to see his mother. But everything there is just way too similar to the old woman's house that we see at the beginning of the film. Like, even the chair is the same. And Anton Ego says that he loves Remy's food because it reminds him of his mother's cooking. And that's because Remy learned how to cook from Ego's mom! So everybody remembers in Harry Potter how unkind and cruel the Dursleys are to Harry, and we just chalk it up to them being awful people. But if you remember how Harry, Ron, and Hermione's mood changed after being around the Horcrux for too long, and if you remember that Harry is a Horcrux himself, then it kind of makes sense that the people that were around Harry for years would be affected by this and just be fucking assholes all the time. In Toy Story, Woody's famous line, there's a snake in my boot, was actually a very common hallucination that alcoholics would get in the 19th century. In the movie Dumb and Dumber, Lloyd's chipped tooth is real. Apparently, when Jim Carrey was in detention in high school, some kid jumped on his head and chipped it. And so for the movie, he just took off the cap to look dumb. In the Goonies, the actor that played Chunk got the chicken pox, but didn't tell anybody because he was afraid that he was going to get recasted. So in this iconic scene where he lifts up his shirt, you can actually see the chicken pox. Guys! If you're named after your father, like if you're John Jr. or some shit, your mom has probably moaned your name in bed. If you have a bank account with more than a penny in it, you are officially a part of the top 8% of the world's wealth. Any coffee that you have ever had has had cockroaches in it because when they get the beans from Madagascar, they all live over there and it's gonna take too much time and effort to try and clean them all out. So you've been drinking roaches. So, I went to the emergency room last night and didn't get home until like 2 in the morning. So I was walking my dog Astro, who by the way is now 120 pounds. So he got spooked by a neighbor's blow up Halloween decoration. And subsequently, my ankle, the one that took me out of college basketball, kissed the sidewalk, popped, and I fell into the street. And while I'm laying there, just trying to absorb all the pain, my like seven year old brother Cruz is like, you're overreacting, lays on the fucking floor to mock me and is like, Meh, as I'm actually like, ah. So now I have a sprained ankle, some crutches and some very good pain meds. Like dude, I love you, but what the fuck? Guys, unless you say that you don't want to do this, after you die, your loved ones could technically ask the doctor to electrocute your prostate to force you to produce sperm. Talk about a deadbeat dad. Studies have shown that people with dark eyes are more prone to seasonal depression than people with light eyes. If you ever get a blood transfusion but accidentally get the wrong blood type, one of the symptoms is a sense of impending doom. Oysters used to be my favorite food until I found out that they're actually served alive. They don't die until you eat them! Now they're like top three. In the 1800s, you could bring your dog or cat to the London Zoo and have them pay for your price of admission. And all you had to do was feed your pet to the lions. According to Japanese legend, if you have senpaku eyes, meaning that if the whites from below or above your iris show naturally, this means that you're meant to die early. Things you inherited from your parents that you probably didn't think about. Insomnia. Yeah, if you have trouble sleeping at night, you can probably just blame that on your mom, but don't be too mad about it because she can't sleep either. Your musical ability, tone deafness and perfect pitch are both genetic. Your ability to trust others. Yes, trust issues can be a result of environmental factors, but a 2017 study done on twins proves that it's also inherited. So you guys know when you look at a really bright light for way too long and then look away that you can still see the light and it's actually kind of blocking your vision? Have you ever wondered what that was? Well, just imagine that your eye is filled with tiny people, but like millions of tiny people that are all looking up at the sky, which is your eye, and whenever they see something, they make a note of it and then send that note to your brain. And when these tiny people see a bright light or a vivid color, they just start furiously writing notes down. They even start writing on each other until eventually they don't have anything else to write notes on. 
So usually what happens is your brain just isn't getting these notes from the tiny people anymore, but you still have to see. So it kind of just works with what it has, causing you to see these light spots in your vision. But just until the tiny people can find something else to write on. This is a photorealistic image that somebody made of George Washington if he was alive today. They also made Abraham Lincoln. What? This is what a sunset looks like from space. This bamboo grew during the pandemic, so it's completely untouched by the tourists trying to leave their mark. Hey, if it isn't my two favorite people! Oh, Bella, there's three of us here. <laughs> yeah. But you said you're two favorite people. <laughs> yeah, I did. So which one of us do you not like? That is an excellent question. I'll let, I'll let you guys figure that one out. Hey, you want a piece of gum? Oh, yeah, sure. Thanks, man. Oh, yeah, yeah, no problem. Wait, why didn't they take one for themselves? Does my breath stink? What is happening? Did I brush my teeth this morning? They are totally freaking out right now. Yeah, I honestly think that I'm just like the most observant person ever. Oh, yeah? Tell me more. Yeah, I mean, like, I feel like I just notice things that other people don't sometimes. I mean, that kind of makes sense, but what do you mean? I also feel like I just read people pretty well, you know? I just walk into a room and I just know what's going on. Hmm, okay. Yeah, and I kind of feel like that's what sets me apart. Like, a lot of people don't even pay attention to things that are going on around them. It kind of sounds like you think you're better than people. Yeah, a lot of people just need to start paying attention and stop going through the motions. Wait a minute. Starting your day out with an early morning run is a great way to make sure that your day can't get any more worse than it started. If you ever wanted to get an Xbox or a PlayStation at a discounted rate, just check Craigslist around the time that report cards go home. I don't know why guys go to the gym or to bars to try and meet women. Just go to Target! The female to male ratio is 10 to 1 and they're already looking for things that they don't need. Do you want all the chores around your house done but you don't really feel like doing them yourself? Have kids. On your daily commute, is there an annoying pothole that just isn't getting fixed? Spray paint a penis on it. The city will be on that shit so fast. If you're ever low on cash, you should consider robbing sex offenders, okay? Their addresses are easy to find and they can't own guns. So I got my college degrees in math and computer science, which means that I was never really good at writing. So here's some essay hacks to help you get an A without plagiarism. Go to the website EssayBot and type in the title and prompt, and the robot will try its best to actually write you out an essay. It'll go through a plagiarism checker and even give you the sources and citations. And then go to the website Hemingway Editor, and this will actually grade your paper and let you know what you need to work on. And then if you need to make your essay longer, just try changing these words into these phrases. It means the same thing, it gets your point across, and it'll get you to your word count. So to help with cold or flu symptoms, as cliche as it sounds, make sure you drink a fuck ton of water because it'll thin out all the mucus, and eat some chicken noodle soup because it's an anti-inflammatory. And if you have a stuffed up nose, one thing that can help clear your sinuses is by pressing your tongue to the roof of your mouth and your thumb on your third eye. For whatever reason, this will give you a few minutes of relief. And let's say you have a really bad cough, one thing that has always helped is by taking a slice of lemon, pouring some salt on that, and then pouring some black pepper. Just suck on this. Don't worry about your cold anymore. Hi! Okay, so really quickly, I need you to turn your phone brightness all the way up. Okay? Now, I want you to stare at the dot that I just put on my nose. Don't move your head or your eyes and try not to blink because you're about to experience one of the coolest optical illusions that I know of. Just keep staring at the dot, okay? In a few seconds, I'm gonna turn the whole screen black and white. But if we did this right, it shouldn't look that way. And even when I do change the screen, don't stop looking at my nose. Just keep looking at it, keep staring at it. You ready? Okay, in three, two, one, now. Okay, so hopefully for a second there, for the first time ever, you just watched a completely black and white video and saw color. But JS, how does it work? Biology, bitch. Do you want to know how to tell if somebody's attracted to you? Because here are some very subtle signs that should be a dead giveaway. If you're just looking around and you catch somebody making eye contact with you and they immediately kind of just like look down, that's a sign. If you walk into a room and somebody starts standing up straighter, they fix their hair or their shirt or something, that's a sign. If you're having a conversation with somebody and they kind of start stuttering a little bit, repeating their words or their eyes really wide and they stop blinking as much, that, that, that's a sign. I just want to apologize in advance to the people that are going to try and start taking note of this and realize that nobody's doing this to them. I am so sorry. 
How should I spend the rest of my nap? Okay, should I get some work done? I'm kind of behind. Okay, should I go to the gym? I'm a little out of shape. Universe says no. Should I hit up some friends see if they're going out? Oh, man, should I get dinner and a movie? Dinner and a movie. Dinner and a movie. Dinner and a movie. Movie and dinner. Dinner and a movie. Dinner and a movie. Dinner and a movie. The universe wants a dinner and a movie, and what the universe wants, the universe will get. In 2009, the federal minimum wage was raised from $6.55 to $7.25. Gas cost about $2.35 a gallon. The average house cost was $200K, and Jeff Bezos was worth $6.8 billion dollars. Fast forward 12 years later, Jeff Bezos is now worth $191 billion. The average house is about 500k. Gas is 435 a gallon and the minimum wage is still 725. So the cost of living has gone up by 20%, but the pay that we're guaranteed hasn't moved even though in any given state it has been impossible and it has been impossible for years now to live off of that pay, all because these people believe that a minimum wage shouldn't be a living wage. Isn't that interesting? Hey, so you're kind of like a doctor, right? No, not at all. I make silly educational videos. I don't have a medical license. I mean, but you know things, right? You said you knew my body better than I do. I mean, I guess. Well, okay, so my eyes have been like twitching a lot lately. What do you think that is? Sounds like a magnesium and vitamin B deficiency. You just gotta take your vitamins. Okay, okay. Um, I've also been like really fatigued lately, just super tired. I can't find any energy at all. Well, that's just your caffeine addiction, dude. All the coffee and Red Bull you drink makes your body rely on it and fucks up your nervous system. Oh, okay. Um, just one more thing. Uh, my pee smells really sweet, like a, like a birthday cake. Your sweet ass has diabetes, dude. Schools will dress code you for wearing ripped jeans because it shows too much leg, but they'll also just let you wear shorts. If time travel is ever invented, that means that it has always existed. <laughs> Isn't it kind of weird that hamsters are real animals? Because like, I've never seen one just out in the wild. A wild hamster? That's not a thing. I lied, okay, apparently it is a thing in parts of Asia. They're kind of cute though. If you think about it, the word blink is the plural of wink. Thanks to the internet, you've probably seen more naked people than your ancestors combined. A bed is just a shelf for your body when you're not using it. Things I didn't realize was my ADHD, but probably should have been a dead giveaway. Cool, I got some time to kill before I have to leave. What? No! Yeah, I'm headed out right now. I gotta be there by four. It's only 20 minutes late. It's already 3.45. Where are my keys? Well, it's 9.15, which is basically 9.30, which means it's almost 10. And I have to be in bed by 11, so I got no time to do anything. So a couple of months ago, I told you guys that if you ever get a paper cut, that one way to heal it is by using just a little bit of chapstick. But let's say you're messing around and you accidentally get another paper cut. One way you can heal it is by using some raw organic honey. Ah, oh, that feels awful. Okay, and let's say you're just like really fucking stupid at this point and you get another paper cut. You can use some aloe to heal that one up. <laughs> Okay, so actually getting the paper cut hurt a lot, but the chapstick feels really nice, the honey feels even better, and the aloe stings a little bit, but like, overall they feel a lot better now. If this blows up, I'll show you guys paper cutting my mouth. If you wanna save some money on Christmas this year, right now is the perfect time to tell your kids that Santa didn't make it through the pandemic. If you ever get into a fist fight and win, make sure you call the other person an ambulance because now not only have they just had their ass kicked, they also have to worry about the $5,000 ambulance ride. If you ever commit a crime, just go to Costco. This is gonna act as a safety net because some of the police officers chasing you might not have a Costco membership and they won't be allowed in. I once told a friend that his earlobes are in line with his nipples and he was like, no, my nipples are way lower than my earlobes. And I was like, what, dude, no, your earlobes are in line with your nipples. Before the invention of the light bulb, people on average slept about 10 hours a night with a first sleep and then a snack and then a second sleep. And I think we should bring that back. When you die, if you get cremated, you'd produce enough carbon to make 200 pencils, which means that you could be a souvenir at your own funeral. Does 
the royal family have a last name? Because, like, it's Queen Elizabeth II, there's Prince Harry, Princess Diana... What? It... It's Windsor? Where the fuck? Like, just imagine if your name was George VI, Albert Frederick Arthur George Windsor. That's so fancy! Really weird human body facts that I can guarantee you didn't know. Humans are the only animals besides elephants that have a chin. Not even gorillas or chimpanzees have one and nobody knows why. If you have a peanut allergy, that just means that you have homo sapien ancestors and neanderthal ancestors. And through all the inbreeding of the different species, you developed an overreacting immune system. Because your cells are constantly regenerating, you get a new skeleton every 10 years or so. I'm on my third set right now. Hurts more than my second, but it's fine. <laughs> Have you ever wondered why looking at bright lights can make you sneeze? Well, this thing that happens is called the autosomal dominant compelling helio-automatic outburst, or a CHU syndrome for short. So whenever you do look at a bright light, the nerves in your eyes actually constrict, making your pupils smaller. These electrical signals are so close to your nose that it actually activates some of the nerves in here, causing some secretion and congestion in the mucous membranes. This causes the brain to confuse a bright light with a nose irritation, and the next thing you know is... You guys ever look at high schoolers from other decades and think, whoa, they look way older than any high schooler I've seen today? What the heck happened? Nothing happened! These people look exactly like how high schoolers look today, except their style makes us think it's different. Because these people grew up and just kept buying the same clothes, so now we associate this look with 40, 50, 60 year olds. So even though they are younger in this, they look way older. And you know what? The same exact thing is gonna happen to Gen Z. We're gonna grow up still buying the same clothes because we think it looks cool, but the younger people of tomorrow are gonna look at us and associate how we dress with old people. Why am I not provided a parachute when I get onto a plane? Like, if the plane's already going down, why not give people the option to jump instead of just dying in a crash? Okay, so I googled it and one reason is that parachutes are very expensive and heavy, so the plane is gonna need more fuel, which means ticket prices are just gonna go up to possibly unreasonable levels. Another reason is that the cabin door is pressurized, which means that you can't really open it mid-air without everybody passing out due to lack of oxygen. Also, there's no real way to get hundreds of untrained people to remain calm and wait in line for their turn to jump. So, if you've ever wondered why there's no parachutes on planes, there you go. I hate flying. Things I didn't realize was my ADHD, but probably should have been a dead giveaway. Where did I put my keys? I swore, I just put them down. How am I always doing this? What did I put? What? Three times when actors weren't acting. In the movie Home Alone, the actor Daniel Stern had to have a tarantula put on his face and he wasn't given a whole lot of heads up beforehand. So he was like, but aren't tarantulas poisonous? Yes, but won't that kill me? Not if you don't scare the spider, but I have to be screaming. Isn't that gonna scare the spider? Spiders don't have ears. And he was like, okay. And so we got this iconic scene. In the movie Zoolander, Zoolander asks, why are male models being used for evil? And JP gives a very long, lengthy, full answer. But in that time, actor Ben Stiller forgot his lines, so he just repeated himself. But why male models? And it fit his airheaded character so well that they just kept it in the movie. In the movie The Princess Bride, there's a scene where Wesley has to get knocked out, but they weren't able to get it to look as realistic as they wanted it to, so he was like, hit me. Just hit me with this very real metal sword in the head. And they did, and he woke up in the hospital. But at least the scene looks good. 